Capture One's a pretty complex program, and there are probably a number of things in the program that you didn't know about. You're not using it to the best of its ability to help you produce better quality images. So in this video, I'm gonna cover four little things that I think that will help you improve your productivity in Capture One and help you uh, get better, uh, more consistent images. So let's get into it and take a quick look. On the left here, I've set up a custom tab, a quick tab, and I've loaded it with just the four tools that we're gonna be looking at today. The first thing I wanna look at is base characteristic. This is an image I shot a number of years ago, and I shot this on my 6D, my Canon 6D. The engine right now is Capture One. It it did say Capture 9, that's the version I was using at that time, but I've already upgraded this image. What I haven't done yet though, is change the ICC profile. Now, when we click on this, we can see that we get two options. We have a generic and a pro standard. These are for the Canon EOS 6D, the generic profile and the pro standard profile. In all cases, you want to set that to the pro standard profile. Now in this tool, you can click show all and then it will give you all of these options for all of these cameras. So you could use a different camera or a camera sensor profile for any, any image that you want. So I could take this and I could set it to Fuji. But what I wanna do right now is I wanna stick with this pro standard profile and then I'm going to go up here to these three dots and then click save as defaults for this camera and then I'm going to hit apply and then now the pro standard profile whenever I import an image into Capture One whether it's a catalog or a session this is going to apply as the default profile for all images shot on a Canon EOS 6D. You can also set it to use uh, one of the other curves but I'm going to leave it at auto right now. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is in noise reduction. The way camera sensors are manufactured, they lead to dead pixels and hot pixels over a period of time. Sometimes you might get a camera right from the manufacturer that has hot pixels or dead pixels on it, maybe one, maybe two. This is apparently just a natural part of the sensor making process and sensors do and pixels do degradate over time. So what we're going to do in the noise reduction tool, we're going to take the single pixel slider and we're going to move it up to one or we could come in here and just type one, hit enter and that's saved. We're going to go back up to the three dots then we're going to click save as defaults. And then we hit apply. And now we have a default for this camera of single pixel noise reduction. So if you have hot pixels and you are bringing images in from that camera, you will not see those hot pixels and, and Capture One will take care of them for you. You might need to adjust that for your sensor, for your camera, bring it up to whatever threshold level you need it at. I just set it to one. Any images that I have from a specific specific camera, I'm always going to check. I have single pixel set to one in the noise reduction, and then I have that set as a default. If you're finding these tips helpful so far, please hit the like button. That lets YouTube know that you want to see more videos like this and more videos from me, and that helps me continue to make more videos like this for you. Now, the third thing I want to look at is the filters tool. You can see that we have the standard filter by rating, filter by color tag. You can also filter by date, filter by keywords. What you can also do, and you may not know about this, if you go back up to the three dots, show hide filters. I'm going to click this, and then we can add new metadata filters. So one thing that I like to add is format. So if we have TIFF images, we can just filter by all the TIFF images. Also orientation, so landscape or portrait. And then I also want to filter by camera model. You can see I have a number of different camera models here in the filters tab in this catalog. You can filter by all this EXIF data, focal length, ge geotagged images, whether or not they're geotagged, and all these other metadata filters that you can add. But I'm done, I'm just gonna hit close 
and now I have additional filters in my filters tool that I can use to help me quickly filter the images in a session or a catalog. So for our final tip, we're going to open the layers panel here. I've already created an adjustment layer. Press M on my keyboard to turn on the mask. When you look at the mask, you'll see it's a pretty rough mask. You know, there's all this hair in here. It's not a great mask. Now I've created this mask using the magic brush tool. But what you can do, again, we're going to use those three magic dots. We have clear mask, invert mask, fill mask, rasterize, feather. But what we want is refine. We're going to click on refine mask. That's going to bring up the refine mask tool. As I drag the radius over, you will see the mask get better and better and better as we take that all the way up to 300. And now we have an excellent mask. If we zoom in here, it's masked very well over this area, over the hair. I'll turn the mask off, switch back to my adjustment layers, and you can see we can just easily come in here and start making adjustments on that layer using that refined mask. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you found it helpful, please hit like and subscribe to this channel if you're new here. To see how you can set up your Capture One workspace and customize your tool tabs, click this video here, which will show you how to customize your workspace. Thanks a lot. Take care.